Hey everyone, thanks for joining my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the Hardcore 44. It is a 44 inch wing. That's why they call it the 44. It's a great wing. So if you guys have watched my channel, you will have known I had the Maiden flight the other day and it was really, really great. So let's, um, let's just talk a little bit about the wing, about the company, Right Wing, um, and why you should support them, of course. Uh, but I've flown so many wings. Uh, if you guys have followed my channel, I fly a lot of wings. Hardcore 44, hands down, the best wing that I've ever flown in this size. So obviously I have 61 inch wings, I've had 79 inch wings. In this size, I, I think there's uh, no better wing that you can fly. Whether it be a slightly long range airplane, or a sport airplane, or a fast airplane, or a race wing, like if you're gonna race in this wing size class, um, this would be a fantastic way to go, so. Um, let's just get into the specs real quick. Um, I'm running a Cobra, a 2214-2100 kV motor with a 6.4 prop, uh, a Cobra ESC as well, it's a 60 amp and it goes from 2S to 6S, uh, in case you want to uh, run a 2S, I guess. Um, uh, a TBS Pro, uh, Unify Pro, uh, it's leading to a Pagoda um, uh, antenna in the wing here that's embedded, which is freaking awesome. It's, this, this wing was kind of set up for racing, um, as you guys will, uh, I'll talk about that a little bit in just a bit. But um, just running a, my receiver right here, um, everything stays nice and cool. After my two flights uh, up at Kite Hill the other day, um, I always feel my motor, I always feel the ESC afterwards. They were just a little bit above um, uh, body temperature, uh, so running uh, pretty nice. I have a feeling I might be a little bit under, under propped here and I could probably go a little bit faster, but I'll do some testing uh, on that in the future. So um, high-tech servos, I think these are the HS um, 225MG uh, servos, so really high quality wing hardware, um, some nice threaded rods here with a very secure um, of these uh, little wing um, uh, clevises, yeah clevises. Um, as far as FPV camera running, the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro. Um, so far, really amazing image. Now I need to get it out there on a brighter day so I can test the daytime brightness on it, but the contrast and everything was really great when I was flying it. Um, so one of the things that makes this uh, airplane so accurate in its flight, of course, is the Drax style wing uh, gates here that keeps the flow of air just coming through the center of the wing and it also helps to direct it. Uh, it's almost like having a solid rudder. It's not gonna allow the the uh, wing to waggle. Anytime you have a waggle in a wing, like in my S800, it waggles a little bit because it's smaller and it doesn't have these wing fences on there. It has a small, a small, a medium, and a large here, and also your wing, um, the winglets on the end here. But anytime you don't have something like that in there, it's gonna allow the wing to waggle. Now, if you guys will remember, or if you've seen my Maiden video, there's no wing waggle to this wing at all. It is just fast and sharp, and it's just, it's really, really amazing. Now, during my maiden flight, I did have a little bit too much up reflex of the um, elevons here. So um, the way I measured that is right here at the larger wing fence, I put a straight edge and I had about 1.5 millimeters of gap underneath this, this edge. So that was actually too much. So I actually had to down trim the nose uh, quite a bit when I first uh, flew this. But now when I launched this wing, it was one of the easiest launching wings I've ever flown. I'm, I'm telling you, there was no torque roll whatsoever. It just left my hand and kept going in a straight line exactly where I, I pointed it. And again, no twisting of the, uh, no yawing of the airframe as it left my hand. It just went straight as an arrow. You guys will see that on my Maiden video as well. I'll put a link to that like right up here. So, um, I love the wing. I love that I bought this already built up from a friend of mine. I didn't have to build it so um, I, I've talked about this before, but I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, I'm just kind of overbuilding things. I would like to just buy something outright. So that's what I did. I bought it from a buddy of mine who was uh, into getting, he's flying much larger wings at, at the moment. So he, he's like, I'll let this one go to him. But let's just talk about the company, Right Wing. Um, uh, as you guys know, I've promoted his stuff for years now, and I really like his company. He's small, he's based out of Arizona. He does all his own um, molding and wing cutting. Uh, the, the mini drac up on the wall there was molded in, um, in Germany, I believe, then sent over after he made his designs. But he's just one of these guys, he works really hard. I wanna support him because he makes some of the most intriguing airplanes out there. Um, I think hands down, I'm, I mean, I don't think you could really argue with that. 
the cool thing about this airplane is it just it does everything well. I mean, I literally cannot find one fault with this airplane. Besides the fact that you do have to put a lot of love into it when you build it. Now this wing is by far one of the stiffest wings that I've ever uh, experienced and the reason for that is the way the spars are cut into the wing. And I say cut because all of your spar channels, this one here, this one here, this one here, these two here, they're all CNC routed into the wing so you don't have to cut the wing uh, and wonder about how deep you're cutting and if you're getting it in the right spot or when you place the spar inside, you know, are you going to deform the wing? Anyway, it's it's amazing. Um, now, I, like I said, I didn't build this one, but I saw this at the AMA show back, I think about a year ago when Chris first was introducing this airplane and um, I felt the stiffness of the wing there. At that time, I didn't have the funds to build the wing at that time, but just the attention to detail is is there and it's really um but like i said the best wing that i've ever flown so guys on that note i am going to leave uh, a product descriptions and website uh directions down in this description below thanks for joining my channel if you like these videos give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will talk to you guys on the next video see you bye